What is a Medicaid annuity and how does it work? Welcome to Barry's Bites. Please join our host, attorney and financial advisor, Chris Barry. We always focus on first, kind of what are you trying to accomplish? What are your goals? And then develop the best strategy to help you achieve the goal. And then we pick the right tool. So someone's asking about a specific tool. We call it a Medicaid compliant annuity. And really the only time we use these is when we're in a situation where we have a loved one who is either in or about to go in a nursing. So we actually just submitted a Medicaid application for a client uh, today. Usually it takes about a month for us to put these things together. Here's the situation. I'll just explain it. Dad, he is in a nursing home and nursing homes cost about eight to $12,000 per month, right? And current statistics say one out of two will need nursing home care and the average say in nursing homes, two and a half years. Those are just the stats. So they hadn't done any pre-planning. So there's pre-planning strategies we have. And I forget exactly how much, but let's say they had $300,000 of countable assets. And to qualify for Medicaid, you can only have $2,000 of total assets. So where the Medicaid compliant annuity came into a play is that they had a loved one in a nursing home paying these long-term care costs. And there are strategies that we can use at the last minute to try to protect these assets. And so we used what we call a, a Medicaid half loaf plan. Really, we call these generally just Medicaid crisis plans. So if you have loved one in a nursing home, you can spend down to that $2,000 asset limit, or we may be able to do a Medicaid half loaf plan. So let's say you have $300,000. And what we can do is we can gift even within the five years, let's say 150,000. And so now this can go to family to be able to use for additional services for the individual. And then the other 150 would have to go into the Medicaid compliant annuity. It actually just brings the money back to the person who is in the nursing home so that they can pay for the nursing home costs. So in essence, what we've done is half the money has to go into a Medicaid compliant annuity that goes back to the nursing home to pay for care. But what we've done at the end of the day is we've protected $150,000 and now got them qualified for Medicaid. So in terms of a timeline, if you were to look at it, what they're going to do is for at least the first period, this is going to be private pay. And this is where the Medicaid compliant annuity comes into play. And then from there, moving forward, then we have Medicaid covering that same cost of care. So that's the $150,000, they private pay. The other option is if they don't do this, then all $300,000 has to be spent down until they're to that $2,000 asset limit. So that's why we call it a half loaf plan. It's like a loaf of bread. So where do we use Medicaid compliant annuities? We use Medicaid compliant annuities when we're doing crisis planning. So if you have a loved one that's in a nursing home right now, then we may use a Medicaid compliant annuity as one of the tools. So that's about the only time we use a Medicaid compliant annuity. Now, prior to that, we used to be able to use things called sole benefit trusts, but the state of Michigan in 2014, at least the state of Michigan and other states have done this too, in 2014 said we can't do these anymore. And so now we're forced to use, at least in Michigan, Medicaid compliant annuities. (music) 